Celebrating 100 Years of Flight, a scene from the PBS documentary, Kitty Hawk, The Wright Brothers' Journey of Invention, featuring Neil Armstrong and John Glenn as the voices of Orville and Wilbur Wright. The next morning, they carried the glider to the dunes located a mile south of camp. But by the time they arrived, the winds had died down. Literally throwing caution to the wind, they began tossing the unmanned glider off the top of one of the dunes. To the brothers' delight, the device worked. Orville wrote, It would start back, sometimes increasing in speed as it came, and whack the side of the hill with terrific force. The result generally was a broken limb somewhere, but we hastily splint the brakes and go ahead. Two days later, the winds picked up. Bill Tate helped the brothers carry the glider four miles south to Kill Devil Hills. Tate and Orville each took a wingtip, while Wilbur readied himself in the middle. At Wilbur's signal, the three men trotted forward with the glider into the wind. Wilbur hoisted himself onto the glider. The other two continued running with the machine as long as they could and then let go. The elevator pitch control seemed to work perfectly. By the end of the day, the brothers were able to achieve several glides lasting as long as 15 seconds. At last, Wilbur was flying. The flight bug bit him and he was real charged up. And they felt that that 1900 glider was very successful. And there's an indication that Wilbur made some pretty good flights between 300 and 400 feet, which was, was as good as anything that Chinoot had ever done. So that they were fairly satisfied with the glider, with the caveat that this did not produce enough lift. I think the gliding on that last day was critical because they could say to themselves, well, now we've glided like Lillian Gull and like Chinoot. We didn't get hurt. We can even do it better than they did because we can lay flat operate the controls of this thing, and we're fine. Light winds returned the following day. There would be no more manned glides before they would need to break camp and return to Dayton. Before leaving Kitty Hawk, the brothers gave Bill Tate permission to salvage what he could from their glider. Mrs. Tate used the sateen fabric from the wings to fashion dresses for her girls. In all, Wilbur had spent barely two minutes at the controls of his glider, but he was exhilarated and encouraged. His glider had actually flown. Wilbur later wrote, We considered it quite a point to be able to return without having our pet theories completely knocked in the head by the hard logic of experience and our own brains dashed out in the bargain. Kitty Hawk, the Wright Brothers' Journey of Invention. Check your local PBS listings for air date and time or own the entire documentary plus extensive bonus features on DVD.